Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Today we are looking at the 1918 Wheat Penny that is worth money. And we're going to be looking at some other Wheat Pennies that are valuable as well and what you should be looking for on your Wheat Pennies that can give them value. So let's just hop right into it. Don't forget to go check out all the other videos on the channel. Let's look at some different coin prices here. So here is a 1918. Now this is going to be the D mint mark. Of course the mint mark is always underneath the date for these coins. And this coin is graded at an AU53, so about uncirculated 53. The coin is graded by PCGS. Um, if you're not familiar with PCGS, you can always go to PCGS.com. Uh, they are a coin grading company. Uh, this coin here sold for around $40. So nothing really too valuable there. These aren't valuable in terms of uh, you know how many they actually made or anything like that. It's going to be a very good conditioned and high grade is what's going to give these coins value. So only 40 bucks for that coin, but this coin here coming out of a famous collection graded at a Mint State 67 red, that high grade there, this coin sold for over $45,000. You know, if you get like a really top grade, you know, maybe $10,000 coin or something that isn't out of, you know, a famous collection, but $45,000 for this specific wheat penny here. Now here's a 1918, no mint mark. Uh, this coin is graded at about uncirculated 58 as well. The coin only sold for around $10. If we look at the no mint mark that has the high grade of a mint state 67 red, this coin sold for over 17 thousand dollars so we see a big difference there seventeen thousand and ten dollars so keep that in mind the grade of the coin the condition of the coin is going to be super important do not clean your coins to try to look shiny like this uh, because if you clean them it's going to be worth less you're going to devalue the coin and you don't want to do that so seventeen thousand dollars for that coin now here's a 1918 this is an error coin i think i've shown this before it's been struck nine times how awesome is that? It's got a really low grade, but the coin still sold for over $2,000 as a result of this error. You can see uh, that the error speaks for itself pretty much. Uh, no explaining that one. That is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. I would love to have something like this in my collection, $2,000. Now here's a 1918, this is gonna be the S mint mark. So we have the no mint mark, the D mint mark, the S mint mark. This coin here is graded at an AU53, and this wheat penny sold for around $25. Now here is a 1918S with the mint state 65 red grade. So keep in mind, red pennies, brown pennies, red brown pennies, those are gonna be all different grades and it's gonna affect the value. And of course, the grading scale goes up to 70. This is at a 65. So that is going to give it all of its value. This coin sold for over $25,000. Now let's look at some wheat pennies that have different errors that you should always be on the lookout for. Up here is a 1915D Denver Minted Lincoln Wheat Penny here. Now what makes this coin valuable is that it has an RPM. That means it has a repunched mint mark. So that D mint mark on the coin is repunched. Now here's an example of what a repunched mint mark can look like. This is actually on a 1927D wheat penny, but we're looking at the 1915D, so it could look a little different. You never know, repunched mint marks vary based on many different things. But if you wanna see your coins up close like this, you can get that coin microscope on couchcollectibles.com. Now this 1915 RPM here sold for a little over $50, but it doesn't have a high grade. It's only graded at a fine, 12. So if this coin was graded at like, you know, really high grade, it's going to sell for a lot more money. Next up is a 1915S wheat penny here. Now this penny has a lower grade. So I'm going to show you a lower grade compared to a higher grade. Now it is graded at about uncirculated 58, so it's not like extremely low, but it's also not considered a mint state coin because mint state coins go from 60 to 70. This is graded at a 58, about uncirculated. So you will see the difference with what this will sell for in comparison to the next coin. Now this coin, because of its grade, sold for over $400. Now for the 1915S, they only did mint, they only made or produced 4.8 million of those coins. So keep that in mind as well. That is the lowest vintage of the 1915 penny. You got the 1915 no mint mark, the 1915D, and the 1915S. Now, if we look at a high grade of the same exact coin, a 1915S, 
graded at a mint state 66. We're going from a $400 coin to a $46,000 coin. So this penny here sold for over $46,000 just because of that high grade. If we move on to the no mint mark in 1915, this is graded at about uncirculated 58, just like the other one as well. Now they did make 29 million of these no mint mark pennies from 1915. So they made a lot more than the San Francisco minted penny, but this coin still sold for over $60, so not huge money. But if we go to the high graded version of this coin, a 1915 no mint mark, mint state 67 grade on this coin, this penny sold for over $20,000. $20,000. Now, if we look at the 1915D Denver Minted Lincoln Wheat Penny here, well, again, we got the same grade AU58. So that's going to be the lower grade in comparison to the two that we're comparing here. And it sold for over $125. Now, again, if we go to the high graded version of the 1915D, this one here is graded at a Mint State 66. And this penny sold for over $23,000. This first image here shows you how many they actually made of each penny from 1952. So you see that they produced a lot of those coins, even for the no mint mark, the D mint mark, and the S mint mark. Now for the 1952D, you want to look for two different things on these mint marks. So this first example here is, is an RPM, a repunched mint mark on the D mint mark. So if you guys want to see your coins up close like this, like I said, couchcollectibles.com, I have coin microscopes that allow you to see your coins up close like this. So be sure to go check those out. And all also for the D mint mark 1952D you also want to look for the D over the S mint mark and we can see that S hiding right underneath there and you can see it at the bottom of the D so always look out for the D repunch mint mark and this one here the D over the S mint mark now this first one here is an example it says OMM here on the coin slab and that means over mint mark it's graded by PCGS at a mint state 66 that's what the MS66 stands for. And this does have the D over the S mint mark. Now this 1952 penny, because of the high grade and because of the over mint mark, this penny sold for over $525. Again, we have a very high graded coin here. This is graded at a mint state 67. And because of that high grade, this penny sold for over $2,000. $200. Now for the 1952S mint mark, San Francisco minted wheat penny here. This penny here, because of the high grade, sold for over $4,100. For the 1952 no mint mark penny, this penny here, again, an extremely high grade. If you guys are not familiar with coin grading, the coin grading scale only goes up to 70. I have whole coin grading videos on my channel, so be sure to go check those out. Just go to YouTube, type in Couch Collectibles Coin Grading, and you will find those videos. This penny here, because of the high grade, sold for over $6,000. $400. We have a 1951 no mint mark, a 1951D mint mark, and a 1951S mint mark. Over to the right in the red, you can see how many they produced of each coin. Over 600 million for the 51D, over 136 million for the 51S, and over 284 million for the 51 no mint mark. So the least minted out of all those is the 1951S, but first, Let's look at the 1951D. You wanna look for an RPM, a re-punched mint mark. So we can see here in the image displayed how that D mint mark is being repunched. You can really see it there to the left of the D. So always be on the lookout for that. If you guys wanna see your coins up close like this, make sure you guys go get a USB coin microscope from couchcollectibles.com. Link is down in the comments below. All right, next up, this is not a repunched mint mark. This is actually a D over an S mint mark. So you wanna look for that as well. You can see how the S is underneath it. But if you look to the left of the D there, and then if you look at the bottom of the D, you can see that S mint mark. I know it's a little difficult to tell, but uh, if you guys find anything like this, you definitely want to hold on to it. The D over the S mint mark, as well as the D repunched mint mark. Now here's an example of a 1951 penny that has that D over the S mint mark. You see here on the coin slab, it says OMM. That means over mint mark. 
And you also see that it's graded at a mint state 67, and that means that it has a very high grade as the coin grading scale only goes up to 70, 70 being a perfect coin. So this coin here is valuable because of the D over the S mint mark and because of the high grade, this penny sold for over $2,000. $300. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I will see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.